for as long as I can remember, my mom has been telling me, Kevin, honey, you're a gem. And I've been thinking, thinking about what a gem really is. It's an object of desire. You spend too much money on it, it's easily lost, you tuck it away safe in some drawer aside from special occasions. And aside from appearances, it's totally useless. It's shallow. It's skin deep. So is that where I am? You know, you used to be a lot of fun to hang out with. Was I? As of late, not so much. I think I'm depressed. Like you're sad? What, are you happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Oh. You know, I think I just need to get out more. Now you're talking. Let's go out tonight and stir up some poon. I'm not talking about stirring poon. I thought we should go for a walk. Really? Yeah, I love walks. They're my favorite. That's like all you ever want to do. It's like, that's it. You want to hang out here in your apartment or go on your walks. Uh, could we just go for a walk? It'll clear my head. Yeah, you'll go out tonight? Yes. Done. Okay. Tell me about your last few days. All right, well, the last girl I was seeing was a cat lady, but not in the way that you're thinking. No? No. Thanks for taking me out. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for coming. You know what? You got a little schmutz on your cheek there. Let me get that okay, for you. It's okay. I got it. Where are you going? Oh, nothing. I thought I heard something. Well, was she good in bed? The second her head hit the pillow, she was out. I'm afraid to even ask about the next trip. She just stared. So it turns out he had invested all his money in fraudulent bonds, and now he's broke and living on the street. This is my father we're talking about. I wrote you a poem. You know, I don't really, I don't usually do this, so this is, this is big. I, I, I'm just gonna read it. I'm just gonna read it, okay? It's called Lips, and it's inspired by you. Such a small part of the body, a sliver on the face, such a large part of the memory of our love case. They glisten and swell as they approach. Who's in control? Your heart, your mind, your soul? Doesn't matter, because any control I've had is lost. You heard me, right? The look of indifference on her face was enough to make a lesser man jump ship. But not you. What? We sit, we sit here and stare at each other? Are you in the mood? I mean, we're naked. You're a real blank slate, you know that? I've never jumped ship. Well, once. I was with this girl look, and- Look, man, that's enough stories for today. You asked. Look, Kevin. Sometimes you gotta make your own happiness. Make my own app? I've been outsourcing my happiness since I was 14. I can't go back to just making it. Well, you used to get a lot of inspiration from art. Still drawing? Yeah, you know what? I got my uh, sketchbook with me. You wanna see my latest? Yeah, absolutely. Let me see that. Check it out. So, what was the inspiration behind that? Well, I popped a couple muscle relaxers, smoked a joint, and woke up next to it. Was it ever any better? I admit, I didn't always use drugs. No, I mean the drawing. You know, it used to come naturally, not so much anymore. So where are we going? The pier. How much further? We're here. What do you do when you come down here? I look around for a moment or two, then walk back to my apartment. You come all the way down here to look around for a moment? Mike, the best things in life are brief. Miss, miss, you uh, dropped your oh panties. Oh my god, just throw them on top. <laughs> I uh, hope you don't mind. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time a stranger picked up my panties. Oh, worldly, aren't we? Nervous, aren't we? Um, here, can I take that from you? You want the panties back? Oh no, I, I'll take your, help you take your laundry to uh... The laundry mat? Yeah, yeah, right there. <laughs> Thank you, you're oh, sweet. Cool. No, I'm Kevin, actually. I'm Cassandra. A pleasure meeting you. You know, uh... I have to say, for 
Dirty laundry doesn't smell half bad. 